Hi, everyone, and welcome to Yoga in Our Cities virtual studio. This is sponsored by Kineticare. My name is Emily, and for today's practice, you might want to have a couple of props available. You can grab a block, have that handy, and perhaps also a blanket. So grab those items, get all set up, and once you are ready to go, we're going to begin in a seated position on the mat. I've placed a blanket underneath my seat for a little extra lift today, but you can choose to do whatever works best for you. And that applies for all of our practices together, modify, adjust, tap into those props wherever it's going to be most beneficial. I'm seated up on my blanket and I'm going to cross the right shin in front of the left. We'll be here for a few moments. So if you know that there's a seated position, that will feel more sustainable for you. Feel free to take that. And then once you're set up, you can place the palms down on top of the thighs. So palms facing down towards you in a gesture of grounding. And then allow the eyes to close. Feeling your seat rooting down into the mat and feeling the spine lengthen and rise from that strong root. I'm going to focus our practice today on the idea of grounding. particularly as we start to feel the change of the seasons, the move from winter into spring into summer as everything starts to thaw. A lot of times that warmth can bring a bit of frenetic energy. You can feel what's called often the monkey mind start to hop around from one thing to the next to the next. Swinging frantically from one tree branch to another. Our schedules picking up pace, everything coming out of hibernation. All good things in a lot of ways, but in those times when Things are starting to feel a bit frantic. It's good to come back to that sense of grounding. Rooting down, feeling our foundation. So as we get started here today, I'd like you to think of one perhaps person or place or thing that really helps you return to that sense of grounding. See what comes to mind. And then with that particular person or thing in mind. Bring up a feeling of gratitude. Some thankfulness towards them for how they keep you rooted and how they can bring you back down to earth when things start to get a little hectic. With that in mind, let's consciously take a few deeper breaths. Maybe making your breath more audible, bringing that ujjayi sense 
breathing. One more here. And then slowly allow the eyelids to open. We've grounded and centered ourselves onto our mats. And we will be spending the majority of our practice today in this space. So we're keeping it very mellow, very earthy, very rooted down towards the ground. So you can keep this blanket underneath your seat if that is what serves you best. Or you can remove the blanket and just come down to your regular seat on the mat. I am going to grab a block to keep that handy. And then bring the feet into Baddha Konasana. So soles of the feet come together. We don't need to draw this super tight in towards the groin. So just pressing the soles of the feet together, making that nice diamond shape in the legs. I'll place my block in front of the feet so it's available for my head as we come to a forward fold. And then fingers behind you, inhale, lift. Exhale, take it forward. Forearms might come down towards the floor. Rest your forehead onto the block on its tallest height, or if it feels good, take the block out of the way. Let your forehead come all the way down onto the feet. Taking five rounds of breath here to really allow you to settle into this posture. Keeping the seat rooted down towards the mat. So naturally, as we come forward, the instinct of our body is to lift from the other direction. So keep sending the seat down towards the floor. Take one more round of breath here. And then on the inhale, press back up, lift your torso, crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Bring the feet out in front of you, heels towards the floor. Feet about hips width distance, slightly wider actually than hips width distance apart. Fingertips come back behind you, and let's windshield wiper these knees back and forth. When your knees come towards the right, keep them over towards the right. Let that left hip lift. Lift the left arm up and around so that both hands come behind the back. I'll turn so you can see this better. Both hands come behind you. You can stay pressing up into the palms or maybe release down onto the forearms or even all the way melting forward. As you press down into the forearms or your hands, Feel a twist through the torso like you're wringing the body out like a towel. Using our twist today to balance our forward fold. Good. Press back up onto your palms on the inhale. <laughs> Kick over your blocks. And then send the knees over towards the left. Right hand lifts this time. Coming behind the back, same option here. You can stay pressed up onto the palms or come all the way forward onto the forearms, maybe melting the chest down. I actually prefer to stay on the hands or the forearms because I find you can action a little more, press down into the floor a little more than if you melt all the way forward.
All right, next inhale, press back up onto the palms. Knees come back towards center. And then we're going to move into our fire log pose. So begin here with that left shin parallel in front of you. And then we'll stack right ankle on top of left knee, right knee on top of left ankle. So we're stacking the shins one on top of the other, like two pieces of firewood. Lots of different options here. If you're finding that this right knee is really jacked up, you can use your blanket or a block and place that right underneath the knee for some additional support. This may be plenty for right now. And you can stay right here, sits bones rooting down into the mat, crown of the head rising, finding length, breath, and space as you work into the discomfort. Or option here, using your props as usual, to inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine and exhale, take it forward, folding over your shins. I'm actually going to even use a second block here to bring the, the ground a little closer to my head. Just making sure that this is something benefiting you and not causing unnecessary strain in the neck and the head. Always tapping into our breath for any of these postures that bring up any sort of pushing towards our edge or pushing slightly past our comfort zones. Never forcing or bringing in a sense of pain or doing anything that could potentially injure us, but just playing around with those edges, with those boundaries. Good, on your next inhale, let's rise back up, uprighting the torso. From here, bring the right foot on the outside of the left knee. Tuck this left foot back behind you so we're preparing for a seated twist. And then inhale, upright the torso, exhale, turn towards the right side of the room. Hook that left elbow outside the right knee, right fingertips back behind you. Gaze out towards the side of the room or bring your gaze out over the right shoulder if that feels good on the neck. Using your inhales to lift and lengthen and using your exhales to turn, twist any amount more. On your next inhale, return to center, uncross the legs. This time switching the stacking of the shins. So we're going to stack the left shin on top of the right, <clears throat> left ankle on top of the right knee, left knee on top of the right foot or right foot or ankle. And remember, we're not perfectly symmetrical creatures. So you might find, as I'm kind of finding with this one, that there's a little more lift or it's a little bit more difficult on this side. So this is where we can again tap into our props, bring in some support for that knee. And you can choose here to stay lifted, breathe into this posture, find your sense of grounding, or you can choose to inhale, lengthen the spine, Exhale, fold forward, using your props however they will best serve you here. As you exhale, really rooting the seat down towards the floor as you inhale, melting forward any amount more.
On your next inhale, come to upright the torso. <clears throat> Send that left foot on the outside of the right knee. Draw the right foot a little closer in towards your seat. So we're taking our seated twist now on this side. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, right elbow outside the left knee, left fingertips back behind you. Choose where you land your gaze. Maybe out towards the side, keeping a sense of ease in the neck. Maybe drawing the head towards the back of the room, gaze out over that left shoulder. Once more, bringing ourselves back to that sense of grounding, of rooting. Everything is built from our foundation up. So can we really feel our seat rooting down into the ground? From there, we're able to lift, to rise, to find space, to twist. Inhale, return to center. Beautiful. Uncross the legs. I'm going to bring my right shin in front of the left and walk the right fingertips over towards the side of the room. Inhale, <clears throat> lift that left arm up and over the left ear. You can bring your gaze down towards the floor, maybe experiment with lifting it up towards the ceiling or taking it back and forth. As we reach towards the left side of the room, keep the left seat rooting down towards the mat. Inhale, take this to the other side, left fingertips reaching towards the left side of the mat, right arm comes up and over the right ear. Same experimentation with how you land your gaze. Good, inhale, come to center. Bring the fingertips behind you, inhale. Bring the knees down towards the floor. Lift the hips up towards the sky. If it feels okay, let the neck drop back. Rest on the headrest created by your shoulders. Exhale, release your seat. Good, let's do that one more time. Switching the cross of the legs, left shin in front of the right. Take it over to the left first. Fingertips crawl their way over to the left side of the mat. Right arm reaches up and over. Root the right hip down in towards the mat. Land your gaze wherever felt best the last time we did this. I often find that looking down towards the mat really creates a more grounding sensation for me. Inhale, switch sides. We're going to walk the right fingertips over towards the right side of the mat. Left arm comes up and over. And inhale to center, fingertips behind you, open across the chest, drop the knees down towards the mat, lift the hips up and back. If it feels okay, let the neck drop. Gaze behind you, keep lifting the hips, exhale, return to your seat. Beautiful. We'll set up now to come into a brief Shavasana. As always, if time allows, you can turn off this video, lie down in your Shavasana and stay for as long as you are able. Otherwise, with me, come to lie all the way down on the mat. If you would like, you can take that blanket Rest the blanket across your hips. That additional weight. Once more, creating a grounding sensation, bringing us down towards the earth. Let the feet fall open wide to either side. Bring the palms down to rest face down on the belly. Turning your attention inward. 
Noticing if there are any areas that feel as though you're gripping, you're holding. And as you deepen and lengthen your breath, imagine the breath moving, actually moving air and space into those areas that feel tight or tense. Allowing the eyes to close, unfurrowing the brow, unclenching the jaw. Breathe, rest, Shavasana. Begin to bring some small movements back into the body. Drawing your awareness back into the breath. Take a nice big wake up stretch, reaching the arms out past the ears, extending the fingertips, extending the toes. you place a blanket over your hips you can set that blanket to the side drawing the knees in towards the chest one by one giving yourself a nice big hug to center and then let the knees drop over towards either side coming into the fetal position Pressing through the strength of that upper arm, upright yourself, keeping your eyes closed, and draw hands to heart center. We kept our practice together today really close to the ground. Reminding ourselves of our foundations, even as things transition, shift, and change. Bring your awareness back to the idea of gratitude and the gratitude we extended towards those people, places, and things that help us to stay rooted. Once more, Send out a little message of thanks in your mind and in your heart. Thinking 
of all of those things we have to feel grateful for. Those things that allow us to keep our feet, sometimes our seat on the ground. Even as energies start to shift and things become a little more chaotic. With that sense of grounding and gratitude in your heart, inhale, lift thumb knuckles up to forehead center. Namaste.